Continuing to build our cabooses. These are seven and a half inch gauge cabooses that will go behind our uh, our larger live steam uh, locomotives and trains. And um, you might say, hey, why are we talking about this on Garden Railroads? Well, this is just a larger Garden Railroad, and it's still uh, still building a train and a train car and so forth. So. Uh, a lot of these uh, ideas and concepts are certainly transferable from one gauge to another or from one scale to another. So uh, we hope you enjoy this and that you continue watching our series on building these two cabooses. These are, um, we uh, got these uh, from Titan Trains and they were a kit. And um, one of them, this one is a brand new kit and the other one was from an estate sale that we found here in in northern Nevada and uh, it had most of the pieces so we're building that one as well and we now have the we made some pretty significant changes to the drawings that you uh, are following uh, the drawings that come with the kit is one is we made it to where this whole um, this whole roof comes off as one piece because we're going to do a lot of detailing on the inside of these two cabooses so we want to make sure we have good access so we've got the, um, the, the wood on the plywood here. Now we're going to add some more of the trim pieces and um, the structural pieces, just like we did on the other one. We're going to glue and nail this one right here. And that'll help give us some support on the uh, roof, give us a nice uh, hide this uh, joint where the cupola comes down onto the body and gives some additional support. And also a little bit, uh, I think it adds just a little bit more um, because both of these are going to be kind of, um, you know, a little bit more detailed inside, nicer looking kind of VIP cabooses. So we want to have them make it a little bit, uh, a little bit fancier than your standard run of the mill caboose. So uh, they are not a, we aren't modeling after a prototypical caboose. So it's just kind of a, uh, a fun, a fun build uh, for these. So we'll start off with our glue. I marked uh, approximately where uh, the nail line should go uh, just before we started uh, doing the video. And and this doesn't have to be tight up against the caboose because it's going to be kind of a friction fit. Uh, so I want to make sure there's enough space for that to um, slide on and off. When we take the when we take the roof on and off. Okay. Let's make sure that we got them all in there and didn't nail it to the caboose itself, the body. That looks good. We got um, looks like these. We can we missed a, a few spots, so Excellent. We got those where we want. We got, looks like, just a couple that need to be hit with a grinder. All right. Now, put some pins in this one.
All right, we got them all in where they're supposed to be. And uh, none came through, so that's good. We'll let this glue set up a few minutes. And um, we'll go ahead and put the, uh, the top roof on the, on the cupola as well. All right, we got some glue on here. We're gonna take our little roof piece. We have it lined up, little lines there. So we know that it's nice and straight. Perfect. And we'll go one. All right, we now have our roof on, our trim on. I'm gonna run a little bit of a little bead of glue right down the center line here of, um, the, of the roof set roof parts and uh, put a little bead of glue to, around the, the coat well as well just so that everything is nice and sealed up. All right, we'll let this screw set up and then um, we'll go ahead and sand it. I'm gonna cut some end pieces because I do want a, um, a piece on each end of the roof session, section. You can see it's just a little bit flexible and what happens is you always grab it right here to lift it off and so I need to have some um, more support on these two ends on both of the gun on the caboose so we'll get those cut and We'll be back. Well, hello and welcome back again to the shop. I'm Holly McLean with Train Lee TV and we are still building these uh, seven and a half inch gauge uh, wooden cabooses. And we got, the, um, got the, the plywood on the roofs here. Got this all as one uh, unit that lifts on and off. And now what I like to do is I'm gonna put some end pieces on here and, uh, oh my goodness, boy, geez, Louise, it looks like uh, we had a, a mess bomb go off in here. I got stuff all over the place, so I got to kind of get this cleaned up and organized. But for right now, we are going to um, put these end pieces on. I wanted to put them on, and they don't call for them in the plans, but, um, you know, with, the, lift, with the, uh, the roof lifting off, a lot of people will grab it from here. So I like to have a little bit more, um, a little bit more support and something to grab onto. So 
we just um, cut these out of some of the um, half inch plywood and uh, a nice finish uh, plywood and um, I'm going to glue them and nail them in here and I want to be a, about an inch back on these. And, let me go. So if I'm coming back, come back one inch. Some couple of guidelines here so I know where to nail these. And so this is the front of the caboose. Got our wood glue. Something sturdy to lift on and to, get, and to give some nice support on this roof here. Put another all right, so now I've did something, I found something kind of cool for the um, the back end is we like to run these uh, trains at night sometimes, and of course you need to have uh, a, a fairly bright uh, marker light um, on the back, you know, preferably something red or flashing red. And I found these guys at uh, a bike shop, and they were $10, and they look kind of almost already like a little train headlight. And you just hit the button here, and you get a solid. Hit the button there, and you get a nice flash, and they are definitely pretty bright uh, in the daylight. You can see them from uh, a ways away. So these should work well. So in the end piece on the end, I went ahead and just drilled out an inch hole. I got some aluminum uh, flat rod, cut it, drilled a hole in it, and countersuck uh, some holes for the two wood screws to hold it in place. And then this just has a, um, a little washer and screw. that holds us in place in the back. And that should give us a nice tail light for these cabooses and uh, relatively easy to change the battery. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna line this up like so. And um, here we go. And we got, got our lights right there and we'll go ahead and mount this in the same uh, relative position, you know, an inch, an inch back, and we'll go ahead and glue and pin that in place. I'm going to take the light off for now. Um, I just wanted to show you that. Like I said, I just found these at a, at a bike shop, and they're ten dollars, and um, they seem to work really well. And they have a replaceable battery, and uh, it's supposed to get like up to 150 hours on the flash, so that's uh, plenty of runtime. So we'll put this back in, turn that off, and uh, let's glue this to this end. Got a lot of noise in the background of just somebody putting garbage out. Some there, and some there. Up, and make sure we got an inch back there. Yeah. All right, there's one inch there, one inch there. Mark our spot here. Okay.
Okay, that takes care of uh, this roof assembly. The next step is we'll probably need to sand it and get it ready for painting. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, and do this on the next caboose. And we will see you later. Thank you again for watching.